tonight is insert one, which is this one. So I haven't finished my fussy cutting because I'm useless. You couldn't find your scissors. Yeah, I couldn't find my scissors. They were sticky. That's what it was. Um, but I'll, so I'll, I'll finish that off in a minute. But what we're going to do is we're going to put together this insert and it's very easy but do bear in mind as well that these inserts are all standalone projects on their own so you don't have to um you know make them with specifically to go inside the briefcase these you can just make these as little mini books on their own give them away as a gift quick and easy makes that sort of thing so uh this one has um oh let me just put that around i've got, I've got a little hangy thing there uh, but this one, the way that it opens is it opens up like that. And I've just tried to use the papers because they're just so gorgeous that I wanted to, you know, um, show those to the best, um, you know, as they are. And then it opens up and, uh, yeah, guess what? I still haven't done the fussy cutting for that either. Uh, we'll do this. Um, and we've got a little pocket here with some um, inserts and photo mats, which I've also put you the sizes on the cutting guide as well. So we're going to start off. And what we'll do is we'll make the base of the book and then we're going to start to put it together and decorate it. So grab your trimmers. Oh, I'll tell you. I've hurt my back. I've never had a bad back in my life. And I don't even know what I did. I didn't lie funny in bed because this started before I got into bed. And I have had such an awful day. Cal never does a homework, the rain. So um, excuse me if I'm a little bit slow with you because I'm not quite all together with it. Right, so grab yourself your mind? card and we will be, where did I put my cutting guide? No, I do not Oh, it's here. OK, right. So we're going to cut one at nine and a half by eight inches. That's obviously not an A4 piece. Right. So this is eight by nine and a half inches. I think it is as well. Let me just try and see. Oh, see what that one's like. I should go into StreamYard and have a look. It'll show better in there, won't it? I think it's out of focus too. Now that looks perfect in StreamYard. I'm hoping that is. Is that better? That looks better. So we're cutting one at eight and a half did i say eight and a half no, eight eight by nine. nine and a half inches and then we're going to cut one at nine and a half by seven and a half inches okay then we're going to cut our final piece to the actual insert book thing um for the front which is oh i'm going to do it my, the, if i don't do it the way around that i've written it then mark will get cross with me so i'll do it mark's way so we're going to cut one at four and a half by eight and a half inches And then we're going to cut the bit that's the front, the closure, and we're going to cut that. Now, you're going to love these measurements, but there is a really good reason for it. But we're going to cut it at five and three quarters by six and three eighths. So basically, if you go to six and a half and then take it back an eighth of an inch, that's where six and three eighths is. Right. OK, let's put trim it to one side. Mm. Ow. Oh. Right. Scoreboard. There's not much scoring to do here. Right, we'll do it backwards because I like to upset Mark. So the piece that we've just cut that is five and three quarters by six and three eighths. So we're going to score on the six and three eighths side. And we're going to score at half an inch. 
and we're going to score at five eighths of an inch. So what you've got is a flap here that's half an inch and then you've got an eighth of an inch gusset. There you go, gusset. gusset. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Then we'll go to the pocket. So we'll score first of all on the four and a half inch side and we'll score at half an inch. Then we're going to score on the eight and a half inch side. We're going to score at half an inch and we're going to score at eight inches. So that's just our very ordinary, usual, basic pocket shape. We know we know how that works. And then we're going to take that first piece that we cut that was nine and a half by eight inches. And we're going to score on the eight inch side. So I've got my eight inches at the top and I'm going to score at half an inch. OK, and that is it. So first thing I need to do is find my bone folder. Oh, here's one. And I'm going to take that big piece and I'm just going to fold on that score mark. What? No, score mark. And I'm just going to fold it over like that because this piece that we cut will fit underneath that flap there. We're going to put some glue on this flap here and we're going to fold it over so what we've got is a an open uppy bit thing like that okay so glue oh i think i might need i had some new glue i did have new glue i wonder what i did with it <sighs> i did have new glue i had brand new glue a big bottle of brand new glue Doing that I know I have tidied up and I really shouldn't have and I've lost my pokey tool as well oh I found my new glue so that's a good start now I just need my pokey tool oh well we'll just hope it comes out right so I'm going to put some glue mm -hmm. where's my pokey tool oh there it is We're just going to put some glue onto that flap. Oh, for goodness sake. Pokey pokey. You've got to kind of poke it and swivel it about a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Anyway. Okay. So, no, glue. Right. So now I'm putting some glue on that flap. And I'm going to take that page, the one that hasn't got any. Um, scoring on and I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to fold that flap over the top okay like that okay I've got about an eighth of an inch too much there so I'm just going to trim that down oh they're not in the shop Celia, I can send you some to try, see if they're any good. I bought them for a, a kit and they were too big. But I did send you a link for, I hate to say this, but Amazon. But I'll, I'll happily send you some. It's just I know you need them urgently and I don't know, I can't promise with the post. But if you want me to, whoops, if you want me to um, post them, I will post them to you, no problem. OK, so what we've got now is a book and it's as simple as that. OK, that it, it might be. It might be. No. So what I've got now is this piece with that little eighth of an inch gusset. That's going to be the piece that falls over here, which acts as our closure. Now, in theory, this bit that we cut out last week should fit nicely. Oh, my God. And it does. That's a miracle. It fits nicely on there. So that's that's the plan with that. This is why it's that weird size. OK, it just kind of it just. Yes, that would be a good idea, Rosina. I, I have got some, but I, I've lost. 
Well, do you know what? This glue comes with its own attachment. Look, see? I never, I never put it on because I'm useless. Anyway, right. But yes, good idea. Definitely a good idea. So that is going to go on there and it fits in just nicely into that square. Now you can get some special ones, Ellie. Um, if you get stainless steel, we have got some, but they're not big enough to go in these big bottles. But they fit in the little bottles that we sell. You know, the little bottles, empty bottles. So I'm just going to fold and burnish on there. And then I'm going to fold and burnish again on that other fold for the score. So what I've got... Ruth's done her homework. Ruth's done her homework. Has done none. Oh, neither have I. Well, I've done some, not a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, do you know what, Yuko? You're absolutely right. It's useful to have an engineer in the family. There was talk of glue charms, wasn't there, Mel? Melanie. Melanie. I keep, I keep reminding her, although she did say... She did say that she was going to make me one of those, you know, those things that you wear around your neck so you don't lose your glasses. Because I lose my glasses a lot. Anyway, so now I've got that little bit there that um, has got that little gusset on. So that is going to fit over the top here and that's going to form our closure. But just bear in mind that the fold. Were you listening, Mel? We were talking about your glue charms. Um, the fold is going to be at the bottom so that that folds around like that, but it opens it opens up not logically at all. Okay. All right. I know she's busy. She's doing stuff for me. It's me that causes all the trouble. I keep saying, do this, do that, do the other. I need this yesterday. So I'm just going to put some glue onto that flap there. And you can measure this if you want to, but I'm not going to because I am just I like to live dangerously. And I'm just going to add this to the, to the middle. Let me just make sure it is in the middle. That looks like the middle, doesn't it? That's more or less the middle. Yeah. So I'm just gluing it there up to that first score line so that when we fold up the book like that, the gusset folds over the top and that's our little mini book. OK, but what we need to do is add in our little pocket for our uh, photo mats to go into, which I'm going to put on this bit here. So basic pocket. I'm going to. Kinky mitre. Whoops. The corners like that. Kinky mitre. And I'm going to fold this over. I think you're going to be sorely disappointed tonight, Nikki, because this is quite a sensible group. This is this is the get on and work group, as opposed to the let's have a drink group on a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. So, um, I was going to say something really important, and I can't think what it was. It's can't have been yourself. can't have been that important. Right. So I'm going to open up my little thing here. It. More what's it? And I'm going to put this pocket on there like that and glue that down okay i'll just turn it around that way so i can see what i'm doing so let's put some glue on my flaps mm. <sighs> want me to pull unbung it yeah. you might have to in a minute darling yeah. Well, that does seem to be happier it's working now. now. Yeah, yeah. That's and I'm just going to add this. That's almost coming out like a five-year-old. Into yeah, 
into my little book like that. Okay. So that'll fold over like that and that'll fold over like that. And that's how that book goes together. So now what I'm going to do with you is I'm going to decorate it. And I'm going to decorate it in exactly the same way as I've decorated the original, because um, if you are following along with this project exactly with the papers, it's quite tight on the papers. So I'm going to do exactly what I've done so that we know what we're using. However, I will just mention that we are not going to be sticking anything on the back at this point, because on the back of all of the books, I've actually used leftover strips. Um, so I'm going to just leave that until we've finished and then we'll do that on our sort of like our catch up, um, our very last uh, class in, in this project where we will finish off those backs together because I don't want us to, you know, end up using paper that we could have used elsewhere. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. So first thing to do is we're going to um, take this cut apart, which we, we, we cut apart last week. And uh, I'm going to glue it on to my closure. That's my other glue. You've got, oh, no, I've got my, here's my good glue. I haven't got your glue. No, I oh. know. I've got my good glue. Put your bad glue in there. No, my bad glue. I think, I think, I, I think it's gone. I think I've had too much of it. I think it's, oh, for goodness sake. What is it with glue time? I think it's because it's so hot. It is hot. Really hot. Right, so let's add that on there and center it like that. Do it better than I've just done it. Someone said without magnets. Yeah, no magnets on this one. Okay, so that's this bit. But I don't know how well you can see, but what I've done is because we're using two two books of um, Lady Vagabond, I've taken the same bit again from the other pack and I've just cut out the circle. And I don't know how well you can see this, but what I've done on a lot of these images is I've actually put them onto black card and then cut round them again because it just makes it pop a bit better in my opinion so what i'm going to do with this one now is i'm going to add it onto some black card and then i'm going to cut it out again so if i just add that onto some black card we will cut it out, but whilst we are here, we may as well add in some other bits. Now, we've got our Lady Vagabond here, but we also need to use her cut out or use her wings. And this is what I haven't finished cutting. So you're going to have to just bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Actually, I was thinking, you know, I said about dinky, meaning something else in England than it does in some parts yeah in some parts of the uk than it does in some parts of the us what other words or sayings mean something completely different where where you are and i'll do this one for all rica because she'll appreciate this um I'm sure I've mentioned before that um, I lived in Germany for a few years and I'm really not very good at languages. And it's nothing to do with being British. It's just that I am genuinely bad at languages. Um, but I was desperate to learn uh, to speak German properly. So I did my very best and I made sure that everybody spoke German to me so that I could speak uh, better German. But my favourite... <laughs> One of my favourite things was when uh, when I was told by um, a good German friend never to tell, uh, never to, to say in England that I had uh, a gift for my mother-in-law because the word gift in German means poison, which I thought was highly amusing. So if something's giftig, it means it's poisonous. So that amused me no end. But then I was thinking about, you know, like words that, 
we use in English that can mean such different things. And um, I know that there's a saying that you use a lot in America, and that's to say something's the bomb. And that means that it's really, really good. Am I right? The bomb. If something's the bomb, it's 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 brilliant. But in England, if something's bombed, it means it's absolutely rubbish. It's total failure, fallen flat on its face. But then I thought, well, there's probably loads more that I, I don't I don't know. So does anybody else know any? Because this really uh, language intrigues me. I might not be very good at it, but it does absolutely fascinate me. And then I'll know not to say the wrong thing when I'm talking to people. You can't say the right thing, you? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is true. Uh, now, that's a saying that I like, Laurie. You rock. I love that saying. And I'm hoping it means the same. I'm, um, I'm not getting all the uh, comments. I've just noticed. No, oh, you're not. No. Yeah. I'm wondering who you keep talking to. Well, that's because I'm on Facebook. I decided yeah, I not well. to use. Oh, that's a bit strange. No. Mind you, Facebook's been really, really difficult over the last few days. Oh, I have seen that. It just ran off the top. Oops. Oh dear. You'd have to read to me because I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm not reading what Lorraine just told What well, was Lorraine said? Well, I'll tell you, Yuko, in my, in my experience, sort of like talking about people speaking um, English particularly, uh, when I was in Germany, I will say that all of my German friends spoke infinitely better English than I did, which I always find quite amusing. Oh, yes, Lorraine, it does indeed. And um, and as I'm talking to my American friends, this is perfectly acceptable. But in England, we have something called a bum bag, which you call something completely different which if you called it that over here, you'd be in a spot of bother. That's all I'm saying. Does it sound, uh, rhyme with granny? It does rhyme with granny. How did you know? No, I know my bits and pieces. Uh -huh. Well, not more bits and pieces. Uh, Mark? I know those bits and pieces. Uh, apparently so. Oh, Nicky said it. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, Nicky. Yeah, we that's that's um that's uh in, in in England that's not a word that you'd use out loud. That's like pants, isn't it? Oh yeah, pants, that's another one, isn't it? Yeah, we call them trousers. We call them trousers, but also if something's pants, it means it's awful, doesn't it? Yeah, but pants are underwear. Yeah, yeah, pantsy knickers or underwear. Yeah, just you Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Okay, right, so I'm still I'm still doing stuff so I've good. cut out my um my little phrase and I'm going to just glue that on as well because I want to cut around that in black crisps and chips yeah yeah that's that's true because chips in England they're, they're like french fries the chips well, thick, are thick fries, thick fries. We, we fry them in oil, which I think, yeah, you, you call them fries. So, right in America, they're called fries. Yeah. But we call them chips. Chips. And chips in America, we call crisps. Right, my lady vagabond, she needs wings. So do I, really. Yeah, I'm not getting on very fast here. Pants means underwear in Japan, too. Does it? I didn't know that. Ah, no, neither did I. Not pants at all. I'll just cut around this quickly. Okay, so what I need to do with my lady, lady vagabond is I need to give her wings. 
So oh. I don't know if I can fit these on here. I might have to use a different, yeah, I'm going to have to use a different piece of card. You haven't told anyone about your incident earlier in the week. Which one? The one you sent me a picture of saying there may have been an incident. Oh, well, I was working on this Magic of Oz thing and there was a knife incident. That's all I'm saying. There was a lot of blood. Right, so now I need to put my Lady Vagabond onto some black card, but I need to just check her wings and make sure that they look nice and they're in the right place before I glue her down. Right. So let's put a bit of glue on these. Make sure she fits there. Yep. I might just turn that around a little bit. Oh no, I messed that up now. That's some feverish typing there, Mark. What am I missing? I'm only talking to Emily. Oh gosh. That won't be good. She asked if the blood was mine. No, the blood was mine. Yeah. There was a lot of it. You wasn't were you yeah, you were you were here, weren't you? No, I was at work. Oh were you? Yeah, you sent me a picture. Oh. Yeah. Got new blades now. Thankfully, it was out of focus, so I couldn't really see much. Oh, that's all right then. I'm glad you were okay about it. Right, let's stick my lazy vagabond on top. Let me just check before I bash it down. There we go. So while those bits are drying, where's the other one over there? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the papers on here. So what have I used? The, is the um, town. I lost my papers again. Where did I put them? Oh, crikey. Oh, here they are. Oh, that's something I didn't know. What's that? Uh, Diana said, when she was in France, our British tour guide told us to be sure to bring our jumpers the next day. Yep. Jumpers are little girl dresses. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, jumpers are like a sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is in your Sir Vagabond pack. Okay. This one. Let's just have a look what's on the back. Okay. So there's nothing there that we have to use. So we can just cut this out with impunity. So obviously, what I've done is I've cut out the edge here. And I must have cut out what I can't remember what it measures now. Is it nine and a half? The base is, yeah. Nine and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so let's cut that out. Ow. All right, so this, what have I done with my book now? <laughs> oh, here it is. This is going to go on the front of my book there, like that-ish. And then that folds over the top like that, okay? So we'll glue that on in a minute, but I want to cut out these bits for the inside as well. So what have I used? Let's have a look. Okay, so I've used maps. 
Oh, and that one is also pieced. So you know what? I'm not going to glue stuff down onto there either. So you're going to find that these books are partly unfinished until we, you know, finish the book. Um, because I don't, I just don't want to cut out stuff that we need. So um, we're going to leave that bit. So I need the back. And then I need this map piece. So let's have a look. Okay, so just looking at this, I've obviously used the back of that one. So let me just cut that out, ready to be cut. There we go. So you should have this piece with the doors on and it's the back of that that I've used. Now, what I didn't say for you to cut out were these fussy cut bits to go in here. So we'll go through that and we'll do that in a minute. But just looking at that, that at just under seven and a half. Let's do that. That's what? Let's do that. Is it seven and a half or was it seven? Seven. Seven and a half. Okay, so I've got that piece and then this I've obviously cut to go on my pocket which i think was four and a half wasn't it uh, you got something four and a half, yeah. or was it four where's my well, ruler four, did it so it was four well don't go four oh yeah and obviously, for some reason, best known to myself, you see it's strips like this that come in useful, so don't don't lose them. Um, I've obviously well, cut that at seven and a half. So seven and a half. Oh. What's half of seven and a half? Three and three quarters. If I work out where the middle is, three and three quarters. It's probably a good. What did I say? Seven and a half? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. I hope so. So do I. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to cut this out, actually. Quicker to do it on here than by hand. Right. So I'm going to glue these on now. Let's just make sure it all fits. So that piece is going on there like that. Pop that on. 
you can't say she appreciates your project writing. Well, tell you what, it's mainly for my benefit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. not only am I easily distracted, but you know, I like to like to do all all sorts of things really. There we go. All right, so now um I'm gonna pop, let's see if that'll fit in there. Yep, that's a miracle. Well it's not really because it was kind of designed like that, but there we go. <laughs> let's uh let's pop that on. So we can always add a little bit of journaling on here. I mean, if you want, you can put these whichever way round you like. Um, but I just like that one because you could just put a little bit of of journaling. And yeah, Yuko, this um this paper line would set itself up very nicely towards a sort of a travel journal type thing. Okay, so now we're going to look at inside. And I'm going to put this one down here. And that one is going to go on there like that. But I'm leaving this bit blank until we've until we finish. We're going to have our final class will be a tidy up, if you see what I mean. And going back and doing all the bits that we've left. So I'm also leaving the very, very back of this book as well, because I made mine up the back out of stripes. Oh, I've just covered my face in glue. What? I don't know. How did you do that? I don't know how I did that. Okay. Right, and now I'm going to pop that one. Just make sure it fits before I stick stuff down. Yeah. I glued that very well. So much you do. Sticky nozzle. Oh yeah, good thinking. Sticky nozzle. Oh, damn sticky nozzle. Right, so let's pop that on there. Okay. Oh, oh, honestly, I stuck that underneath. It's just gone underneath because I've got too much paper knocking about. Right, okay. <laughs> Do as I say, don't do as I do. Didn't see that. Didn't see that. No. Nothing going on there. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decorate up this front bit. So here, here's what I made earlier. You know those bits that we we um, stuck onto the black card. I'm going to fussy cut this one. Actually, this one can just be cut with a trimmer because that's nice and easy. So let's just cut that one. Oh, um, you go so they travel the world, so they should come to one of your trips. Yeah, if you're well, if you're knocking about, you know, come to England, come visit. Come to one of our retreats. Yeah, or just for tea. Or for tea. Yeah, cup of tea. Cup of tea. Biscuit. 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 Yeah. Well done. What the fuck? Cookies. 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 Right, so I'm just cutting this round now, but I'm leaving a little bit of a gap so that I can see the black card because to me that makes it all really pop and gives it a really nice definition. I've been doing this a lot lately. I go through phases of things. This is your phase. And this is my that I've and I don't think I've done with the sewing phase yet, but I, it's 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 what has Mel said? Sausage roll. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's something that you oh, have to try while you're in England. I want a sausage roll. I know you do now. Yeah. Thanks, Mel. I've got I've got pasties. What kind of pasties? Meatless pasties. Uh, you, know, I know. <laughs> you don't want them now, do you? Right. So I've got right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay this on top of here. Vanda says, "How is she late?" You you're all right, Vanda. We'll there let you off. So I'm going to lay that down on top of there, but well, there's not really a great deal of point in me just sticking it on as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can either use foam dots or you can use old bits of chipboard. Because if you make a lot of albums like me, 
I've always got odd bits of chipboard knocking about. Oh, sausage. Oh, well, it's just had a chip butter. I don't know what we're having for tea. What are we having for tea? Did we I'm decide? A, I'm having a chip butter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, we haven't. Right. Oh, the rain makes sausage rolls with chorizo in. That right. sounds nice. Except, oh. oh, throw it away. Right. So I'm just going to stick a piece of chip on the back of this, but you can use foam dots if you like. It's just to give it a bit of height, make it interesting. So let's stick it on there in the middle. Stick some glue on. And now I've got to lay it down on top of this one. I might have to lift this up so I can see what I'm doing. So it goes on the top like that. So if you're making this, you'll, you'll see what I mean, because it's not going to show up very well on the camera. But we've now got a little bit of height and a little bit of texture to, to that. So what we need to do now is fussy cut out our Lady Vagabond with the wings. With a little bit of black card showing around her, just to make her pop. We're talking about cheap butchers now. Everyone are you? What they are. Chip butty. Chip sandwich. Yeah, or thick fries. Thick fries sandwich. Or yeah, but you can uh, yeah, but you can still have a chip butty because I like a crisp sandwich, which would be the American version, wouldn't it? If I said chip butty over there, it would be a crisp sandwich, wouldn't it? Yes, I know someone who actually ordered a, a chip butty in America. Got a crisp and, sandwich, I presume. And got, a, and got a bowl of crisps and some bread and butter. Oh, yum! I like salt and vinegar. Oh, what's what's right? Here's, here's another one. I saw an advert the other day for snack boxes from around the world, so it's like a subscription thing, but you get snacks from different countries in it. Not that Mark and I are obsessed by food or anything, but anyway. Um, but I really like salt and vinegar flavoured crisps. They are my absolute favourite. Everyone likes crisp sandwiches. Crisp sandwiches are race. I like ha well, ham. Ha ham and crisp sandwiches. So what flavour what flavoured chips are popular in other countries? I think our favourite uh, salt and vinegar and cheese. Cheese and onion, onion yeah. yeah. You'll have to tell me, Mark, because I've got to take my glasses off. <laughs> you just do your cutting. I am doing my cutting. But now I'm thinking about crisp sandwiches. Tracy says, have you tried dill pickle chips? No. Are these crisps made out of chips made out of pickles? I love dill pickle. I like pickle. Fruit chutney barbecue. Oh, yeah, we get barbecue flavour, don't we? Fruit chutney, though. No, I bet you'd like that. I would. Yeah. Ellie likes Seabrook's Canadian ham. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, I don't know, I haven't tried those. We have had some. And I like prawn cocktail flavoured as well, like skips and stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, regular chips or crisps. With the flavour of dill pickles. Well, I never. I'd like to try those. I bet you would. We'll be over in about 10 minutes, Tracy. As long as we don't miss the plane. Yeah, as long as we don't miss the plane. Make sure lips pop out. I'll bet they do. All around likes uh, cheese and onion and salt and vinegar. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. But you know what? I really like a good ready salted crisp. You know, like kettle chips or something proper. I like those uh, McCoy's crinkle. crinkle chips. Crisps. Oh, are those the really strong flavoured ones? Uh, yeah. And you like skips? Yeah, I like skips. Don't like Monster Munch, though. Blech. Or Watsits. 
Oh, vile, vile things. But I will say, Mum's the one. Don't taste as strong as I used to. Maybe it's your age. Yeah. Now turn 21. Yeah. I want dill pickle crisps. We'll have to go and visit Tracy. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. Go to Dill pickle. Dill pickle crisp. Crisp, yeah. Chip. chips. Nikki loves uh, kettle chips. I love kettle chips. She likes those black pepper ones. Oh, yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Five. Watch it's a smelly towers. Yeah, they're horrible. Oh, okay. Smelly. I'll tell you what I can't bear the smell of. Mel knows the answer to this. But it actually makes me want to be quite poorly. It's popcorn. I cannot, cannot bear the smell of popcorn. As much as I can't bear the smell of Coffee. coffee yeah mark's but well, there's me i'm sitting down with a, a nice cup of coffee because i don't drink coffee very much when mark's about because he hates the smell of it and he starts sniffing he says cats I need to go and sort out the litter tray and i said no it's my coffee cheek the I, cheek I actually know it's your coffee, do you? oh you did know it was my coffee yes. i thought you were being serious i'm always Sour cream and chives. We've got, we've got yeah, one. that's nice. The best chips on the planet are black country orange chips. I, I agree. Eh? Hey, I don't know those. Orange chips. Orange chips. Battered chips. Orange oh, chips. battered chips. Oh, you mean chips? I thought we were talking about crisps. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Guess what's happening next? got a sharp blade. Ellie, the main thing I'm looking forward to about our honeymoon is the food. Where are you going? Ooh. We haven't had one yet, but we were planning Norway. Yeah, on a boat. On a boat, yeah. On a big ship. In Japan. She's going to Japan. <gasps> How wonderful. That would be nice. Randy makes jalapeno popcorn, Tracy says. Oh. I like jalapenos on pizza or nachos. Simon says pork rinds. Oh, no, scratchings, scratchings we call them, yeah. Right, okay, so I've cut out my Lady Vagabond and she's going to go on there like that and then this is going to go across there like that but I've got these two little bits which I don't know why I didn't put them onto black card actually because I could have done. Oh, I did have two, I've lost one. Oh, for goodness sake. Anyway, I've got this round bit and I've got one of these little... Well, I had a honeymoon on the north of France. Oh, actually, no, that's somewhere I really need to go and visit. Yeah, I've lost, I've, I'd have cut it out. Where's it gone? I cut out a little circle thingy thing. Mm -hmm. I'll have to cut out another one. I'll find something else. Leaf scratchings. Leaf that, scratchings. Yeah, those are my oh, I don't even know what they are. A chewy. No, I don't know. Rolling crunchy. But you like chewy banana things, don't you? Chewy banana, what's it? Chips. I'm going to stick these onto some black card because I can. I didn't do it on my original. Well, but I think Danny's it'd be better. playing something case. It's my song. Is it something like ACDC? Do you think? No, I should think he's playing I Am The One And Only by oh, Chesney Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> Mel's multitasking. She's listening to a friend of ours on the radio, doing class, or at least 
vaguely watching and I'm sure she was doing something else as well I forget what but multitasking if you're about if you're local to us and you're around at the weekend Sunday and Monday there is an event on at Western Park watch out for falling trees well, yeah watch out for foot yeah that happened That's last time story. we went over yeah um no i think we told that in class oh, did we? yeah about the excitement of the tree yeah. uh anyway it's on at the western park this weekend and mel will be there and i might go and help her i say help i use that term very loosely i, I may go and help more. her on sunday but we'll see she might not want me right okay so that isn't even remotely round so i've just cut these out and all I did was I took my bulb shaped pin. I don't even know which way is up on this. North. And I just popped my pin through. Like, mm -hmm. don't stick it into yourself, for goodness sake. Sue says, her and the first husband went on her best friend's honeymoon on broads. You and us go together. Oh dear. Well, that's a strange way to do your honeymoon. Mind you, at least they've had one, dear. Yes, dear. Oh. Right, so I've got my two little things on there, and I'm just going to add it onto that. I'm going to use my pokey tool, and I'm going to make a little hole. And I'm going to add, how did I do this? Oh, I did it that way around. Right, if you stick your pin in that way first and then stick those on. Lost the hole. There we go. Um, there we go. Right, so now I'm going to add my Lady Vagabond on here. Oh, I need to put something on the back. So let's find some odd bits of card. There's odd bits of paper. That I used inside, I'm sure, because that's just the right length. Yeah, I'm saving that bit. I need to put some paper on there so that when I open this up with my Lady Vagabond, I think I put her on first and then stuck it. So once I put her on there, when I open it up, I don't really want to see all that black. Just draw around it. Oh, I'm sure, I've just had some pencil. Oh. Oh. We want to do anything on that district. Amongst other places. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The wedding and honeymoon in Vegas. Oh, very nice. Right. So I've just drawn round that. I'm in the store of Scotland and I'm on uh, one of the places to visit next. She could come in. Drink tea, tea too, yeah. Right, let's see if that fits on there, which it probably won't.
Ellie's face. She's not a people person. Ellie's not a people person. No. I don't know. Talking about having a big wedding. Oh, <laughs> no, we had a very small wedding. Yes. It wasn't small enough, though, was it? No, it did grow a bit more than we intended. Yeah. Double figures. It was double figures, and that wasn't what we wanted at all, was it? Yeah. This is all very trial and error. I can't even see what I've drawn on there. <laughs> Tracy had two small weddings. My first one was bigger than my second, but my second one was nicer. Longer last one. Yeah. Yeah, you've put up with me for far longer than he did. <laughs> oh, I've messed this up. What on earth? I can't this is because I can't even see what I'm doing. Anyway. Moving swiftly on. Oh. Let's try it oh, that yeah, way. We didn't know Mel back then, did we? No. She little liked our cutting of the cake. Particularly the music. The it wasn't ACDC. It wasn't, no. I'm, I'm sure there's an easier way to I do this. A song called Community. I think it was too. <laughs> you know, it might have been easier just to cover this thing, thing and then cut it out, but I wanted the black around the edges. So, first day of married life, Brian and I went to the rubbish tip in Burton. Oh, that's exciting. For 44 years. That's not far away. Anyway, you get the idea. You can just stick card on the you know, pattern paper on the back and cut round it, which actually might have been a whole lot easier. So as he says, what is Cal doing? And God knows, making a mess. So I'm just trying to cover the bits that you're going to see when you open this up. But I'm going to give it up now yeah, because it's because so it's it's see. that's because I can't see either. Oh. But I'm just going to give it up now because I haven't got time or the inclination. But I'll do it and I'll just stick it underneath in a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick my Lady Vagabond on. So she's only going to go like kind of, she, she's not going to fit. Huh? You what? I said I think you might be wiping some glue off, but now you're doing it right. More than, more than likely. So let's just stick her on there like that. And then this bit, I'm going to stick a little bit of chipboard, grey board. On the back. Seems forever ago since we last saw Sue. What? Monday? Yeah. yeah. It does seem a long time ago. It does seem a long time ago. Right, so I'm going to stick that on there like that. So that that's dangly. Got out the dangles. There we go. So when we come to put this into our briefcase, let's stick a bit more glue on there. Stick a knot there. That is going to hang over the front, okay? So I need to still cover these bits off, which I will do in due course. But we've got some bits that we need to stick on here. So let's just go through. So your homework for this week is to cut out and um, glue on these pieces. So if we just go through, we have got a supervisor let's have a look escape the ordinary right 
Lady Vagabond, back of the front page. Escape the Ordinary. We have got a Sir Vagabond here. So we're going to cut him out and pop him onto some black card. Then we've got Lady Vagabond sitting down on the trunk, which is, I'm pretty certain, one of the cutter parts well, on the back of the Still we put it all onto black card? Yeah, I would, because I just think it looks... Yeah, it, that nice it, it just, then, yeah, it so. just pops a bit more. Here we go. There's our Lady Vagabond. This is out of the, the Lady Vagabond papers. And there's the supervisor right by her. And then finally, we're going to want these sentiments, which I'm pretty certain were off Sir Vagabond. Yeah, inside of the front page. We've got amazing and dream big. So your homework is to fussy cut those out, stick them onto black card, and then to add to the inside of your insert. Now, photo mats. I've given you the sizes of photo mats on um, on the cutting guide, but to be honest with you, you can do whatever size you want, and this will fit quite a few in there. Now, I've done things like I've taken some of the, the cutter parts out of the um, papers anyway to put in, but I've also made a couple of photo mats which are to fit six by four inch photos. But that, what I've done is because this is exactly a six by four inch photo space. I've cut the photo mat one eighth of an inch wider. So it's sixth and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I've done a couple of those and it's another cut apart. And then here, this one, this one is a six by four inch photo. And this one is a uh, three by four inch photo. And then this bit here, I've just put some um, pattern papers that I've got left over at the end and added um, one of the, the sentiments there. Now, if you were using my new set of stamps, what you could do, especially if you were giving this away, is you could use this frame here to print out. This will fit exactly in your six by four inch oh, photo Rizwana space. Hi, Rizwana. And then you can put the place your photo here stamp. But this is where it gets clever, even though I do say so myself. If you stamp place your photo here, what you've got down this side are different typical sized photos. So six by four, two by three, four by four, if it's an Instagram photo, three by four, five by seven. OK, so you can stamp, place your whatever photo here, but then stamp over the top with one of the sizes. So if you are giving this away as a gift, that tells people exactly what to do with the photo spaces. So whereas this one says place photo here, this one goes just one step further and you can actually tell people what size photo to put there. So um, that's one of the reasons why I think these these stamps are really quite helpful, especially, uh, you know, if you're going to be giving um, giving these uh, books away as gifts. So there we go. Right. Uh, that's it for this evening since we've done an hour and a quarter, which is quite impressive. So you know what your homework is? 
I'll see you tomorrow evening for the next part of Wendy's book. Um, so I better do my fussy cussy for that, really. And then on Friday, we've got part two of the Colour Study Gatefold in Crafting Together with All Brands. So I hope you've enjoyed yourselves this evening and we will see you again next Wednesday. Bye. Oh.